What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we set up wireless solar power here in our mining world. This place is pretty lucky. I, every time I start to record is when I really notice it. Um, but yeah, we have two of these capacitor banks here. Uh, somebody had mentioned in the comments that I made two of these, which cost the same amount of the uh, grains of infinity as the vibrant one. Yeah, I wanted to have more than just one capacitor bank so we had more sites to attach more of these solars to. I didn't really know how many solars we were gonna be doing. So anyway, I wanted to have two of the smaller ones, which cost the same amount of the grains of infinity as a bigger one, but we can have more sides with more solar panels touching each side, right? Anyway, that was kind of my reasoning for going that way instead of doing the vibrant one. Um, so also last episode, we were trying to figure out ways of, uh, making more grains of infinity. We know that we can sift for it using gravel on a diamond mesh. Uh, we were kind of thinking about exploring, uh, ways to give us sieving, uh, what is it called? Efficiency and fortune. So we could get more stuff from, uh, get more stuff from the gravel as we sifted, but I kind of feel like doing mystical agriculture makes more sense since we can target specific essence, like this grains of infinity essence. Uh, we saw that this crop grows extremely slowly. Bone meal appears to work, but doesn't make it grow. It just produces the particle effects and gets wasted. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, in the comments, though, people were saying, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, we tried using the acceleration wand on this. And it does. Oh, it did we try doing that? I guess the acceleration wand does work on the crop itself. I thought I tried doing that and it didn't work. Was I doing it not? Hmm. Okay, well, it appears using the acceleration wand directly on the crop works. But what people had mentioned in the comments, I thought was kind of interesting, um, that you can use a growth crystal, one of these guys, and accelerate that using the wand for really fast crop growth. I thought that sounds like something that we should check out together. So this is the growth crystal tier one. There are three different styles. Um, this is the slow growth one. Uh, it says it works at a nine by nine farm and checks up to two blocks up or down. The uh, tier two is fast growth. Uh, nine by nine checks five blocks up or down and it can be used as a water source. And then the tier three is a fastest growth. It's a nine by nine farm. It checks up to 10 blocks up or down and can be used as a water source. So this seems pretty cool. Um, so this is the slowest growth one. So if we right click on it, you can see that that is in fact growing the crop. Um, yeah, and what's gonna be really awesome about this, it works in a nine by nine, right? So. While we can just use the acceleration wand directly on this plant like so, we're only growing the one. So if we harvest that and then we use this over here, <laughs> yeah, that is, that's pretty good. So what I'm thinking is we could set up some kind of an auto harvester. Um, I don't know, industrial foregoing, plant gatherer, whatever they call it these days, something like that. Uh, automatically harvesting the crop, we could have something like a, Mechanical user automatically right clicking on this thing growing the crops uh, the, Yeah, I think we could get some good stuff going here So we were using this area for hatchery for animals and things like that I think we're gonna kind of repurpose this kind of get rid of this hatchery stuff. We don't need this anymore I think we're gonna kind of repurpose this area here for crop growth. Yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty good um, So grains of infinity are no longer going to be an issue Oh, that was a lever. I thought that was like a burnt out torch. I was like, really? That mod's in here? <laughs> um, so yeah, like grains of infinity won't be an issue. We can see that we can get those quite quickly. And then five of those turn into how many? Eight grains of infinity. So yeah, we have plenty of that stuff for whatever we want to do now. That's not an issue. So other crops uh, we should take a look at that might be a pain. Uh, the resources they produce might be a pain to get otherwise. If we can completely get away from sift sieving that is something that i would like to do um there is a section in our quest book here for mystical agriculture uh it does want us to make some seeds these are just the crafting seeds it does want us to make some essence 
Uh, so obviously making a farm to make essence is going to make sense. And then also this master infusion crystal. Uh, it does want us to make these different furnaces. Ultimate furnace, this one at the very end, that's the one we got like right at the very start of this series, which is super, super awesome. But yeah, we still have to get all the way through uh, making all of these different things. So I think what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to set up a farm over here. We'll start with a 9x9. Nine nine. We might expand out, add in a few more. I don't know how crazy we want to get. Uh, but if we can instant grow these crops, we shouldn't need a whole lot of different unique plants, just one of every type, potentially. So what I'd like to do is set up a 9x9 nine nine farm. Uh, having our growth crystal automatically right clicked with like a mechanical user if this is possible um i guess that's probably the first thing we should do before we even get a little crazy here is to make sure that a mechanical user will be able to right click on that uh let's try doing a mechanical a mechanical user here uh pretty sure we can craft this but let's just do it together real quick before we get too involved in this so we need a resonating redstone crystal, which we do not have. And that is crafted like so. Uh, so we need a glass cutter on an ender pearl. Do we have a glass cutter yet? It doesn't appear like we've done that yet. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Three iron and a stick, glass cutter. We'll do the glass cutter plus an ender pearl because it's eight of these ender shards. And four redstone and ender shard gives us one of those. And here's our mechanical user, very easy. Okay. So let's try automatically right clicking with the acceleration wand on this guy. We want to do use item on block, right click. Or right, do we have to activate item? Activate item with block. Activate block with item. Use item, entity, generic click. One of these things should get this to go, but it doesn't look like it is upper left slot only. Um. Maybe this does not work. Left click, right click. Ah, okay. I was expecting us to be able to do something here automatic, but it doesn't look like that's going to work, does it? If I right click, it works, but the mechanical user doesn't want to do that. Huh. Oh my goodness, guys. So I've been sitting here trying to get this wand to work. We were trying the uh, mechanical user here. That didn't work. I made an automated user. This is from Cyclic. So this thing does require power. So we have to give it some power here. And you can change like the area and the tick rate on which it does a right click, which I thought was pretty cool. So you can do a use or an attack. We want it to be used. Um, and then you have to always do, or you have to set the redstone to always on to get it to work. But yeah, I mean, it looks like it's doing stuff, but that's not working either. And I was playing with all these things. I think I noticed about this automated user, it starts off on a one by one. If you click this, you can change it to a three by three. In fact, we can see the preview of like where that's gonna be right clicking. Mm -hmm. uh, you can change it to a five by five, a seven by seven, nine by nine, but you can never set it back to a one by one, which I thought was kind of interesting. That seems like a bug. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's not working in this thing at all. And then I was like, okay, well, what other ways could we try and get this thing to work? And I saw there was computer craft in here. I was like, oh, turtles. It's been forever since we used one of these things. Um, so yeah, turtles like a, a remote control robot computer thing, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, we can go into Lua. We can do turtle, uh, turtle dot turn left. So we can make it face the correct direction. Turn left. Get all the way to the end, close that parenthesis. We have to do this twice. There we go. Uh, so it turns it around and I was like, okay, so the turtle needs to equip this thing. So I'm like turtle dot equip left. And this is the one that's already selected. So we don't have to change anything. If it could equip it, this would work. But it says it's not a valid upgrade. Yeah, doesn't work. Uh, so there's no other way that this turtle is gonna make this thing work. Then after I did all this, I was looking at the wand and in red text in that line there, it says usage in a machine has been disabled in the config. I didn't see that before. Yeah, wasted all my time making all these things and it was disabled in the config the whole time. Yeah, you guys are probably writing those comments. Hip, no, it's, it's in the config. It's on the tooltip there, it's disabled. Yeah, I didn't see it until just now. 
Uh, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to set up an automated thing using this, which is unfortunate because I had all sorts of crazy good plans to like automate that whole process. But no, no, we can't do that. Uh, so this is going to be like a manual thing, which is fine. Resources that suck that are difficult to obtain are going to be quite quick for us to do. Uh, eventually we will want to set up the crystal growth these um the tier three ones if you put enough of those around it's almost like instant growth on your crops anyway so we will be able to do this at some point in the future right now since it requires so many nether stars uh yeah that's not a thing that we're gonna be able to do although uh nether stars we can get from nether star crops so we need nether star seeds, which requires us to have at least four nether stars plus insanium essence. So I think the first thing, if we're going to even start into mystical agriculture, is we are going to need to make the tier one essence seeds, uh, get enough essence. Actually, we might even have enough essence right now to skip that um, essence. We have 3.8k inferium essence. So we're going to need to take this, go up to the Prudentium, take that up to whatever the tier three is, and then the tier four, and go up and make the biggest seed that we can. Um, the, what is this stuff called? Inferium? There are different Inferium seed tiers, and each one, so the tier one produces one, the tier two produces two. Each one produces the same amount as the tier when you harvest it. So the tier six would produce six inferium essence every time it's harvested. So you kind of want to go all the way up and make the biggest one as soon as you can. So you can get like all of this stuff all of the time. Uh, so we'll probably look at doing some of that stuff. Uh, in the meantime, just to get us started here, I'm going to start making some recipes in order to get these things going. Yeah, so we can just auto craft these and then uh, make the quest happy and we'll make uh, recipes for these different furnaces because they require some like uh, What are they called micro crafting like you have to use the first furnace to make the second furnace and then you have to make these other parts to Anyway, uh, we'll just set up auto crafting for all that stuff. I'll just start making these patterns and we'll be right back guys all right, guys, so I started making some of the patterns to make these different things. So we have for all the different Inferium seeds, these all look like the same exact item in here. But if you hold shift, you can see that it is crafting these different types, right? So these are all the different tiers of seeds that we can craft. And then I started doing that with the ingots. Yep, that's not a big deal. We can make the Insanium ingot and all this stuff. Uh, and then I was going to start working on these different essences. So I was going to make a pattern for the Prudentium. Let's go over to this terminal here. Uh, we do this, and you can see that Master Infusion Stone uses left unlimited. I want to go craft this, and it places the Infusion Crystal there. Yeah, I don't really want to use the Infusion Crystal. I want to do the Master. I want to do the Master one. So let's search for Master Infusion. Uh, where is that? It's up here, the glowy one. So this guy requires us to have Prosperity Shards. Supremium essence and a diamond. That's not that big of a deal. I was looking at the different essence we have, and we already have eight supremium essence. I think we got this from fighting the wither boss before. So yeah, we can go ahead and craft that up right now. Uh, you know, I don't want to make a pattern for that. Well, maybe I do eventually, but for right now, let's just do one. Um, okay, so we have that in the system. I don't know how refined storage works if you're trying to craft large amounts of things. Like, is it better to have a bunch of those crystals in? I know with applied energistics, for every single craft that you're doing at the same time, you want, like, a Master Infusion Crystal for that. So, like, if you're crafting a lot of things, you want probably, like, 16 or 32 of those things. I'm not sure how it works in refined storage. So, I guess we'll figure that out as we go. So, now that we have the Master Infusion thing in there if we do this one we can do master infusion and swap that out every single time and just use the master infusion crystal for all of these recipes which i kind of wish it defaulted to but doesn't for some reason uh all right so i am going to go ahead and continue on making these patterns and we'll be back guys okay guys so i've started making some of these crafts um we have the inferium the prudentium the intermedium the superium the supremium and the Insanium. We made all the different essences. So in the quest book here under Mystical Agriculture, we are all happy on this line of quests, right? Uh, we still have to make the seeds and we still have to make the ingots. But the thing that I discovered as I was trying to craft these things up 
Uh, we were kind of talking about that. It's, I don't know how many of those crystals we're going to need in order to craft. Well, I found out very quickly if I try to make intermedium and I want to make, I don't know, like 20 of them, uh, it says that we're missing all of these crystals. So it needs all of those different, I guess, either the regular ones or the master ones for every single craft that it's going to do. Otherwise, it doesn't know how to do anything. So this isn't going to work. Um, what I'd like to do is look at doing the RF Tools Crafter. This is the solution that we've used in the past to get past this kind of an issue where you have the crafter craft up all of the smaller type to the bigger type, right? Uh, so you just craft all the way up to Insanium Essence or super, Supremium, whichever you want to do. Um, and then you can set up patterns that will craft, well, I guess, uncraft the higher tier to a lower tier. So like this one crafts into the Supremium, right? And the Supremium crafts into the Superium. Yeah, and then you can just set up crafts this way and then Refined storage or applied energistics doesn't need those crystals at all in order to do any of the different essence crafting So we'll be uncrafting instead of crafting makes sense. Uh, so let's look at making this crafter tier three uh, It's gonna be pretty important for us to do I was looking at the recipe here and this does not seem that bad So we just need two crafting tables two redstone torches and a machine frame Which is like super cheap in order to make this tier one. I don't yeah, we don't have any of this other stuff <laughs> Okay, uh, do we have? Planks we should have planks. Okay, so we can make a couple of crafting tables and then we need some redstone torches as well Easy. Okay, so we have that. So there's a crafter tier one uh, Tier two looks like it's gonna require the same thing So let's just go ahead and preemptively craft up four more crafting tables and four more redstone torches All right, so now we can do a tier two and follow that up with the tier three. Yeah, okay, so tier three so now that we have this, we need to figure out where we're going to set this guy. For now, I guess we'll set it over here, and then we're going to need power for that. So we'll grab ourselves a point. I'll just use that same one for my testing earlier that failed with the auto right clicking. Mm, that kind of stinks. Anyway, we'll set this over here, uh, just so it's kind of out of the way, not in our main area. Okay, so we'll place that there. So now we get a set of recipes. So one thing I did forget to do is I forgot to grab our master infusion crystal because that is now going to be used over there because that is going to be our main area that we do all these crafting. Okay, so we need to set up recipes in this guy to make all of these different things, unfortunately. So we have to click here. Uh, we have a few different buttons here. We have external, we have internal, we have external C. What we want is internal. So we're going to take the inferior... Inferium essence, we're going to turn it into this prudentium. We want that to take the items from here, craft it, and leave the resulting items in here, right? Um, so let's set a pattern for that. So that is those four plus this guy, and then we'll click apply. So we'll have to do the same thing for each of these. So again, we'll set this to internal. We will take the orange one with this, and we'll make the blue one, okay? So we'll do the next one. Oh, wait, no, 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 I messed up. I messed up. We have to take the green ones and turn it to the orange one. And then we do the orange ones and turn it into the blue one. There we go. Uh, so the blue ones turn into the red one. Like so. Oh, you know what? I messed this up. Uh, so if you leave these things on external and you want to change them, you can always just switch it and click apply again. Just click the thing, internal apply, right? Uh, so it's not like you have to do it or you have to remake the entire recipe again Just make sure that you set those to internal and the only thing you want to set to external is either the supremium or the Insanium, I think we're gonna go all the way up to Insanium. I think I don't know if that's such a great idea But I think that's what we're gonna end up doing. Uh, so the final recipe would be this guy and That to make the Insanium and that one we will set for external. We want that to end up over here now there is two different externals. There's external and external C. Uh, results of the crafting operation will go to the output buffer, but remaining items like buckets will stay in input. So this is what we want to do. So it does not send the insanium and the infusion crystal to the output. We want to leave the infusion crystal here on the input, right? Okay. Um, so now that that's done, we need to set up some things. So I'm going to put four uh, inferior essence here. We'll put a prudentium here. We'll put an orange one, a blue one, a red one, and the insanium one is gonna end up here in the output buffer. 
Uh, we'll need a spot for the master infusion. Oh, that I did not want this thing to go. How do we turn this thing off? Is there like a redstone signal? Whoops. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. We want four of those. So what we want to do is click the remember, but I don't want this thing to be crafting. Here's the redstone off to activate on to activate. Okay. And then we can place this here. So what we want to do is click this remember button. So this will always keep these items in the same spot. Now, another thing I like doing is filling up the rest of those spots with something that's never going to go in there, like cobblestone or whatever. Uh, let's just grab some cobblestone here. Yeah, we'll fill it up full of cobblestone. So the essence will only go to the slots that we have specified for that. And you do want quite a few slots of this Inferium Essence, especially if you start uh, having crops growing all the time that's producing this. If you get more than a stack in there, then you're going to have issues. Anyway, so it's not a big deal to have more than one slot available for these things. It might even be a good idea to have like two slots for that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so here's all this stuff. So we'll click Remember. And then we can remove the cobblestone and then we can remove all this stuff. You can see there's the ghost images of all those things there, right? Um, so now if we shift click in the master infusion crystal, it'll only go to the slot. I can't click this in anything else, but right there. All right. So same thing with all these different items. Uh, and senior missions, I can't even click in. It'll only go here, but you can't shift click into the output. Uh, so now that that's done, if we turn this thing on, it will what do we do here did i not set the recipe for this oh i didn't we need to do external c and then apply okay so you can see how i kicked the master infusion crystal out of there we don't want that to happen uh so let me undo this stuff well let's go ahead and take this all the way down to like the the lowest tier like so we'll just watch this thing auto craft make sure everything's gonna work correctly I am almost 100% positive <laughs> that everything will work correctly, but let's just double check it. So if we start putting all these items in there, you can see that I can only put in so many. We want to make sure that the Insanium Essence goes to the output and the crystal stays. Yes, so everything's working correctly now. That's great. Um, there's also this button here, the Fast, which uses more RF, but it like crafts way faster. So that might be a thing that you want to have turned on. Put that in there. Yeah, everything looks good. Let's grab this stuff. Perfect. Okay, so that works exactly how we want it. So Insanium Essence will be what we get back to the system. Now we have to make recipes that turn the Insanium into the Supremium and into the Superium and all this stuff. So I will go ahead and start working on changing our recipes back to that. And we'll be right back, guys. All right, so in order to make this work properly, uh, we are going to need to set an external storage set on the back of this guy that's only going to accept the particular items. Well, actually, this only will accept these items in the system, right? So it should just go there. So external storage will set this at a high priority. Mm, something like that. So anytime any of the regular essence goes into the system, it should go right here and it should start filling out these things and doing the crafting automatically. The other thing we're going to want is an importer on the bottom of this thing to extract out uh, the completed items and put that back into our refined storage system. So we'll get that all hooked up and I think everything should be good. Yeah, the items are now gone. So as we put more of the regular essence in there, it should find its way back into this uh, so if we craft all the way down to this stuff, uh, and then we have too much, we can just throw it back in there. Let's go ahead and make sure that works correctly. Pretty sure we should be okay. Uh, I'll just grab a bunch of essence. Oh, no, 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 we don't need to do that. We'll grab the essence from over here. So essence. So there's a few stacks of stuff in here. We can just fill up our inventory. And as we put them in here, it we yeah, we can see like these things crafting. That's kind of crazy. Uh, what I really don't want to do is have those other essences displayed there because the external storage is showing the items that are in here. I'm fairly certain we want this to be insert only. Where is that insert and extract insert only. So that shouldn't display any of the other essence that we have in the crafter. We need to be turned into the supremium in there. Let's make sure that's working correctly. Um, essence. Yeah, okay, so now we have three Insanium Essence, so we can just continue to do this and turn all of our Inferium Essence into the Insanium. And as we get enough in there, this should 
Yeah, that should fill out just fine. Okay, very good. Um, so these different crafts now, if we want to do the Prudentium, if I want to craft one, it's going to take the uh, Insanium, craft into Force of Premium, craft, that, craft one of those into the Superium, one of those into this, and then we'll have the extra things left. And I do believe all those extra items end up back in the crafter waiting to be turned back into Supremium stuff. So let's try crafting uh, one Prudentium. So we craft the Prudentium and then that ends up back in the auto crafter. That's actually not something that I want to have happen. So maybe having the external storage showing um, the insert and extract would be preferable. Let's try changing this back and see how that works. So extract and insert. That way uh, we should be able to see all of the different items if we're trying to craft down. Uh, let's try that again. Essence. So if I wanted the Prudentium, yeah, we can see that now. Okay, let's put this back in here. All right. So if I wanted to craft, oh, I don't know, more. Oh, I can't extract out of there? Why can I not take those items out? That's kind of an issue then. Um, maybe instead of putting a storage bus on there, we should just have an export bus only exporting the lowest tier stuff. Huh. I'll have to play around with this and figure out what the best way to get this thing to work is. Or maybe this should only be set up for uh, receiving items that are being made from a farm automatically. Uh, we'll have to figure out the best way of getting this done. But for right now, we can see that uh, we can, in fact, auto craft all the way up to the highest tier and then use our refined storage system to craft back down. But yeah, this is kind of becoming a problem with that. So I will go ahead and try and figure out what we need to do to get this to work properly. Well, I ended up setting the external storage here to whitelist Inferium Essence. So anytime Inferium Essence goes into the system, it'll get put into here. If we uncraft some of the other Essence, that should just stay in our refined storage system. I think that's probably going to be the best way of going about this. But again, we might need some of the tier one essence for something. I, I don't know, but we'll have to worry about that another time. We are running about to the end of the episode right now. Uh, things that I wanted to do before we uh, ended out here. We have a bunch of loot chests here that we need to claim. Yeah, we get pretty good rewards from the loot chests in this mod pack. So I definitely want to pop these things open and see what kind of goodies are inside. I'm uh, pretty sure we had, yeah, we had these from last time as well. We have so many of these things to open up. Maybe we'll get some good crystal growth acceleration or I don't know. What other rewards can you get that's like really good in this mod pack? I guess we'll find out here very soon. Was that it? Was there others to open? Ah, there's this one too. This crafter thing. Okay, Draconic Evolution we have not touched yet and neither have we touched Project D. So we have a lot of these loot chests open. I don't know how we got pieces of rabbit in my inventory. Weird. All right, let's do this. So Fluix Block and Certus Quartz. All right, some Applied Energistic stuff. We get Fluid Display from random things. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Uh, lithium Dust. One whole Lithium Dust. That's a rare reward. We get one. Is that useful? You need four of them to do anything. One lithium dust turns into some lithium. <laughs> Why is that a rare reward? I don't know. Uh, Cryostabilized flux duct. Okay, so unlimited power transfer. I like it. Uh, overclock or upgrade. Ooh, IC2 is in this mod pack. Did I know that? I don't think I knew that IC2 was in here. Yellowite ore. All right, we get ourselves dragon egg crux. A legendary reward. This will allow us to grow dragon egg seeds. Yeah, these guys, the dragon egg seeds, if we look at the uses, does require dragon egg crux underneath farmland in order to grow. So all we need is just the seed itself, which means we have to kill the dragon and have some insanium essence and more insanium essence in order to do that. But should we get to that point, we'll be all set. Uh, Invar hammer, not so great. More lithium dust. Yes, I don't even, is that good? I don't know. Uh, nature core. We get Invar Hammer, we get Charm Wither Resistance, ultra rare reward. So this prevents you from getting the Wither effect applicable to the helmet, chestplate, leggings, and boots 
from Mystical Agriculture. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We get ourselves viaduct, and our final chest is more viaducts. Ah, oh, that's kind of disappointing. Huh. So we did get ourselves some pretty good rewards here. Uh, so we got ourselves the Dragon Egg Crux, the Wither Resistance, and then some Cryo Stabilized Flux Ducks. I think that's pretty good. Guys, we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today. Yeah, I like where we're at now. We're able to craft our essence into the, uh, the I guess, more compact, higher tier versions. We can uncraft it all we want to. Uh, we're using the crafting over here. Uh, we did see that we can auto, well, I guess, instantly grow our mystical agriculture crops. Unfortunately, we can't do it automatically. So it will be a manual process to get crops that we want. We'll have to figure out a way to auto harvest them and things like that in the future. I'm sure that won't be that difficult. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.